two very special ladies that we want to say ladies. <clears throat> They're no longer children. Uh, but these ladies have uh, graduated uh, from different things. And so I just want to share with you first off, Miss Rebecca Kale. And so many of you know Rebecca. She's grown up here. And she is, uh, or has, graduated from Catawba College. And so that's exciting, uh, with a Bachelor of Arts in Education. And so specifically, it's a Bachelor's in Birth through Kindergarten Education. So interesting. So this is really cool. So I was given this information. Not only did uh, Rebecca graduate with her Bachelor's, uh, but she graduated as part of the Alpha Sigma Lambda Honor Society which is significant, um, and she also was awarded something called the Barbara Andrews Special Award, and this award is given to the undergraduate distance and online education student in the graduating class who embodies the highest degree of character, leadership, and scholarship, and only one student is chosen for this award from the top six graduating seniors with the highest GPA. So that's pretty exciting. Let's, let's give her a hand. <coughs> <clears throat> so we also interrogated uh, Rebecca and her mother for some additional information. <laughs> uh, we understand that her plans are to continue working at Grace Academy in the K-4 program. Uh, she does desire, uh, much like her mother, to work her way up into an administrative type of role. Uh, she also is looking forward to remodeling her home and getting married in October. So we're excited about those plans as well. Uh, her favorite hobbies and interests are gaming and crocheting, and she says now that she's completed with school, she's going to have more time to, uh, to work on those things. Um, she says uh, also her favorite Bible verse is Psalm 46, verse 10, uh, which, by the way, reads as follows. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So, again, let's give Rebecca a round of applause. We appreciate, um, appreciate all the hard work that you've put in um, and all of the uh, work that you put in uh, working for the Academy. So we do appreciate that, and we wish you the best with your upcoming plans. And so our second graduate that we're going to honor today is graduating from high school, and this is Miss Ella Carolyn Murray. And so many of you know Miss Ella. She is a ray of sunshine. She also helps in the academy, and uh, she um, has graduated from Cardinal Academy, otherwise known as the Murray Homeschool. <laughs> so, um, so she has graduated from Cardinal Academy, and her plans for the future are to continue for a second year at RCCC before heading on to four-year college to work toward her bachelor's degree and pursue her career also as a teacher. So front runners in her search for a four-year university, the four-year four year universities that most likely will be blessed with her presence uh, will be either App State or Gardner-Webb universities. Uh, Ella enjoys reading, playing music, Dunkin' Donuts, and Heartland. That's the TV show with the horses, right? Okay, I thought so. All right. Um, but if you know Ella, you know she has a great personality. She is a lot of fun to be around. And I am sure that the Lord has uh, great plans for her. Uh, so Ella's favorite Bible verse is Psalm 116, verse 7. Uh, it says, Return, O my soul, to rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. So again, Ella is a compassionate, loving young woman who's always looking out for others first. Let's give Ella a round of applause as well. <clears throat> So I, I promised both of these young ladies that they would not have to come up today, but if you feel led to congratulate them later to go by after the service, you know, give them a word of wisdom, give them a hug, whatever, you know, you decide to do there, I'm sure they will appreciate uh, your words of congratulations. Uh, well, I would like to just publicly say a word of congratulations to these two young ladies, and we're looking forward to all that the Lord has in store for you uh, and for your future. All right, well, with that being said, we are going to do our time of worship today. It'll be a little different. So we, uh, nobody up here, and, and I'm not going to